Hi, welcome to the Chubby Leprechaun. We've had tremendous support so far with many people out searching for hidden treasure. Even if you haven't found anything, we hope you've enjoyed being outdoors and are spending it with friends and family. In today's video, we want to highlight a few good men who found our first two prizes in the Portland, Vancouver area. They are best friends and as you will see, love adventure. Before we get to know Gordon and Adam, I want to give you a new clue for our two different $50 bills that are hidden somewhere for you to find. And then make sure you stay tuned to the end where Eric and I will give you one final clue for the day. If you missed our previous clues, you'll want to go back to our last video and rewatch. So here's your next clue. At this historic location, which started in 1888, Captain Eric led his squad in training. He said this about his young but emerging platoon. Leaders are beginning to emerge and lead by example. So there you have it. Make sure you stick around to the end where the chubby leprechauns are going to give you one last clue for the day. All right, all right guys, we're here uh, the chubby leprechaun with two of our winners here. We got Adam and Gordon. Uh, they're trying to get their story together right now about how this thing worked out. Uh, if, you, if you remember from uh, our, our previous video, we said that uh, Gordon kiped Adam's fine. Adam found the first one. He's our first winner actually in the history of the Chubby Leprechaun. So that's a that's a, a prize that uh, nobody else can claim. But Gordon, he said to himself, I'm going to be second even if I have to throw my best friend under the bus. And that's that's how it went down. Adam totally called me. untrue. <laughs> Adam called me and said, I found the gift. Am I free to go get the other one? And I said, yeah, go for it. Go find it. And less than an hour later, Gordon called in. Gordon. And uh, we think that Gordon basically scooped him so we'd like to get the story straight what happened guys let me say fake news yeah. <laughs> oh, fake news fake news mm -hmm. i've heard that so, before so the full story he gets credit in that he's the one who saw your video right i saw it on facebook so uh i was at work on facebook yep that was what i was doing That's what we all do at work yeah <laughs> it was at lunchtime i was actually working so yeah. i didn't see it and and I get about 10 minutes into this thing, I didn't even get very far, and I, the first thing I did was call Gordon, because this is something that, like, I don't know, this is, I knew it was right up his alley, this is something we love to do. We totally have aspirations of doing the Amazing Race together. Yep. You, you guys search bushes together uh, on the frequent then? Uh, all the yeah. time. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Practice, practice. Uh, okay. Okay, so... So and that's then, a level of friendship, then, that most people will have, because I think yeah. if I were to do the Amazing Race with most people will after a day, Right. We'd hate each other. We're both smart enough not to do with our wives. Yes. Oh. Because we love our marriages. We might edit that right. part out. But we we could. Yeah. <laughs> or don't show your wife. Yeah. <laughs> we could do it. We could we could yell at each other and get over it. That's we, right. We think. So then what happened? You called. <laughs> okay. Called so I come? called him, and I'm like, I think I know where this is. It's got to be up Mill Plains. He was all little. wrong. Let me just say, because yeah. he looked up the Netflix and he's like, it's a Sleep Doctor, Doctor Sleep. Yeah. Doctor like Sleep. Stephen King. I looked it up, uh, I was like, I found Into the Tall Grass. And he's like, okay. so we were stuck on the sleep doctor, and then over, and then you said the fish. So McGrath's Fish the House, is over searching there. everywhere for a building that looked like a commercial or medical building. Yes. Because he's stuck on the doctor sleep thing. Uh, well, okay. it, it, it fits. You have McGrath's, and then there's like two bed stores, and then there's three sleep doctors over all in that area. And so I was kind of really stuck on this idea, and, the other part is, is I saw 15, like, uh, handicap spots. So I thought, <laughs> this has got to be a medical facility. And so I, I was like, it was driving. I was so mad at him for telling me about it, because now I'm, I'm, like, focused on this thing, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, That's open. And then it's what happened. And so I went back. I'm like, I'm going to listen. But I, and he'll tell you, I take total credit. I heard that. Just... They, they're pretty faint. Those gunshots, it's not like it's really loud. So uh, what I'm getting at is uh, maybe Adam actually... Absolutely. He, he, uh, 100%. So it was the other way around. Adam stole so Gordon goes, oh. I'm going right now. And I'm like, I can't let him go all by himself. Yeah, he, <laughs> yeah it's dangerous. I was right. I was just going to go out and he's and, like... Uh, there's he's a like, pandemic and stuff. Yeah. you got a buddy system all the time. <laughs> Halfway here, he's like, I'm going to. I'm like, that's fine. I'm like, I show up and he's walking around out there. I thought... That's too big. Like, they, that. You were both together. He got here first. He got here first and was looking in there. He probably told you, though, I'll be there in an hour or so. Oh, and no. He'll come right away. No, he was already <laughs> closer than me. I'm like, oh. how are you there fast? <laughs> I was already leaving. Anyway, I get here. I'm looking at that. I'm like, no, that doesn't. 
you have to dig. If you're going to hide something there, you're just going to throw it on the ground. And I saw these tufts of tall grass, and I thought, okay. But just Once do you the, got here, did you think we all were in the right spot? Oh, 100%. 100%. Uh, in fact, I, we knew it before because you can't really see it from Google Street View, but if you look really carefully, you can see that entrance from Google Street View because they don't come into this parking lot. <laughs> but I was like, 100%, that's it. Oh, I have to yeah. tell you, though, so I'm looking through everyone. I'm like, look behind me in case I missed it. Uh -huh. He goes, what is That's what a true friend would say. <laughs> hey, <laughs> follow me. Yeah. Let me take the lead on this just in case. He goes, what in front of me? He's like, I got it. I was like, oh, you jerk. <laughs> so, but we were already committed. We are like, we'll split it. Whatever it is. Now, wait, Whatever wait, it is. We were going to split it. When you when you saw it, were, did you right away think, that has to be it? Or were you like, oh, that's 100%. I, I, I saw it there. I'm like, there's a bag of something in these bushes that doesn't fit. And I could kind of see it through it. And so I just kind of grabbed the bag out. So, uh, Gordon, how would you get to that one before he did then? Did you guys both head to Washougal? Uh, no, so I was heading out to Washougal anyway. Okay. I was going to go play pickleball out there. I'm like, so I'll go to Washougal. He, to his credit, he recognized those um, petroglyphs, higher, whatever you want to call those. Yeah. We had actually, with our wives, gone on a date <laughs> out there and went walking around there. So he had remembered that. Yep. So we knew where it was. I watched your clues. The first thing I did... There was I, only two of them, right? Yeah. I, I kind of searched around them. I'm like, no, there's nothing to hide it in here. So I actually went up on top. We were wondering, we were hoping... Uh, and there were steps. Somebody else had been up there, too. Was it? I almost put it he up walked there. Up. I knew it had to be out there because it said it looked looking up, over looking over the, the mighty Columbia River. And so I was up just watching the video, and quite frankly, it was just kind of luck in that I'm walking along and thinking, it's got to be in something. There's only two things. I, I looked down there, and there were the poles with, like, the bird nest things. I'm like, they wouldn't get it up in there. That's too high. And then I looked down. <laughs> yeah, I did. Way too fat. This is the chubby leopard guy. The not chubby, the skinny or slightly bigger leopard. Well, I'm right there with you. Yeah. So, you know. I I looked down. It was. I'm just rewatching the video, and I looked down. And I'm like, oh, there it is. Like, okay. so you guys are still friends, then. 100. percent Yep. Still yep. gonna do the amazing race together. We hope. One day. One day. Well, right. let's settle. Adam, do you have a family? I do. Tell us about them. How many, how many kids you got? Wife, I got four what? kids. Four kids and a wife. Ages? Uh, we got we go from eighteen to nine. Okay. And nice. is your wife going to be happy now that the eyebrows will be a little bit more uh, trimmed up? Uh, <laughs> it's, it, yes, a hundred percent. All all of my siblings, we have eyebrows that are make most women jealous. So. So you guys may have to pass the grooming system off back. And forth. Uh, we're not going to share this. Bit. Bit. Yeah. Actually, his wife cuts square. my hair and, Adam, you got a and trims my cash. eyebrows. What's that? Yes. Did, did your wife take that from you when you got home? Uh, no, she tried. Okay, what oh, are you going to yeah. do with it? Any ideas? Uh, what am I, you know. Date um, night. Totally date night. We're going to share it. Good. All right. Yeah. Good. We, and we, Gordon, family, what's, 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 what do you got? I got five kids. So 15, 14, 11, 8, and 6. Nice. So you nice. need that date night. <laughs> yeah. Fridays are very important to our good, our household. Good. Was your wife happy with you when you got home with a hundred dollars? She was you, super excited. Did you keep that secret so that you could maybe you two can go out. With nope, the... didn't keep the secret. <laughs> okay. We shared it. Oh, hey everyone! Glad you found me, Jason, with the Chubby Leprechauns here today at our favorite location, the Honey Bucket. Hey, speaking of the Honey Bucket, it's time to drop a new clue here. Here we go, folks. Those of you waiting on the new clue, here it is. Old Glory. She flies in many locations, not just on the home turf, but on the away as well. Old Glory flies globally, not just on the home turf, but on the away side as well. Chubby Leprechauns out.